Hey guys, this video we're going to be checking out a couple of new micro cameras from Cadex. These are kind of similar to the uh, MicroSwift, and there's actually a whole bunch of these micro cameras that are now coming out now from much different places. Uh, they sent me two of these. They're called the um, the Micro S1, and uh, this one's the 2.3 millimeter lens NTSC. So basically, they come in three different colors. There's yellow, which is over here on my Sonic, green and pink, and then they have different lenses. They've got a 2.1 millimeter lens and a 2.3. I don't believe 2.5 and 2.8 are actually available for this camera. And then they're also available in PAL and in TSC. So lots of different options and uh, choices for you guys. Let me take the lens cover off here. This is the 2.3 uh, millimeter lens, so it's a little bit narrower field of view. And you can see this one here. I already installed this and flew this on my Sonic. They've uh, installed the lens uh, attachment uh, upside down on, on the yellow one. So you can see that the 2.3 millimeter lens it looks a little different than the 2.1. The 2.1 is over here, sorry, in the yellow. And this is a little bit wider field of view. It's really, really similar to the MicroSwift. Okay, so here's a, take a look at it next to the uh, MicroSwift 2.1. This is the Cadex 2.3, obviously different lenses. Uh, the, I guess I call this the cover or the case is a little bit different shape than on the Runcam Microsoft there. I actually prefer this shape better because it'll fit more stuff because it's curved here instead of having a sharp corner here and nothing over here. So I think that I like the, I like the case better here than on the Microsoft. So if they maybe could change this one, that would be nice. But I don't believe the Cadex here is a clone. Cadex is another CCD or camera comp or like analog camera company. They do, do security cameras and stuff. So they've built their own cameras and stuff for a while. Um, so they're, I don't think that they've copied the, uh, the Microsoft at all. They probably have their own components and everything a little bit different. Yeah, they actually the boards look a little bit different. And then on top of that, the back of the board also looks different here. So they still have the power ground and video, and I believe the voltage range is wider. Yeah, it's wider on the Cadex. It's 5 to 40 volts on the Cadex and only 5 to 36 volts on the Microsoft. But you have the power ground and video, the first three pins on the left, and then uh, the run cam uses a two, two separate pins here for your OSD joystick, or joystick or OSD controller. But the Cadex uses a four pin connector here, kind of like uh, HS1177 style type of connector, so you have the basically power ground video, and then the uh, last pin over here is for your uh, OSD uh, controller, and the controller is also different for, from this company. So they just basically uh, have the same form factor, I believe the same size, the 21 millimeters by 21 millimeters square, and uh, also probably, I think this one, this one feels a little bit lighter. I think it has to do with the case. This case feels thinner. You can hear it sounds hollow. Maybe they, they shaved some weight off here. And let me just show you what the, uh, Cadex 2.1 versus the Runcam Microsoft 2.1 lens looks like. I can tell that they, I mean, it looks like they're using the same lens. If you can see there, it looks pr pretty much identical. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, compare the weight of these two. The Cadex comes in here, this is coming in about 6 grams, so actually heavier than what's advertised. And then we have the Runcam Microsoft at 5.4 grams, so that's about right. This is being advertised as 5 grams, um, but it's coming in at 6 grams, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe it's because the lens is bigger, perhaps? I don't know, it's a little bit longer. I'm not exactly sure where you get the extra weight. Um, but yeah, this is about half a gram heavier than the Runcam Microsoft. Okay, so here's the rest of the stuff that comes in the box. You, you get a metal bracket, you get an OSD controller joystick, and then you get two sets of cables, obviously some mounting screws and an Allen wrench. And then uh, the wide, the cable here comes with um, one section for the, basically it's for the OSD controller right here. It's a two pin connector there, and then that goes into the four pin connector that goes into the camera. So I've already uh, have one here connected up. And this wire goes up in this way, and I think both grounds go into the ground of the four pin connector here. And yeah, good like that. That's how this is wired up. And then the other uh, three go into the 
video transmitter here. Okay, you got it plugged in, and you can see here this has a um, OSD on here. So it's got your on time, uh, pilot name, and your uh, voltage here. I'm using a 2S LiPo, and you can actually adjust this. So it doesn't actually have a dedicated voltage sensor pin like the Microsoft 2 does. Um, so basically, whatever voltage is being sent on the red wire, the, the, the basically the power wire, is what's going to show up here. So if you have this powered up through a PDB or some other BEC, if it's a 5 volt BEC, 12 volt BEC, whatever, that's what's just going to show up here. Uh, but of course, you can then obviously connect this directly to a LiPo um, and then show your battery voltage. Um, probably, um, yeah, on. And this guy here, I have a Betaflight OSD, so I'm, just, I'm going to turn it off. So let me just show you what that looks like first. I believe you just hit the up button, or it's actually maybe up you down. Okay, so hold down the joystick in the down direction or away from the connector, and it brings up the um, FPV setup menu or the on screen menu. So you can change your pilot name here, and then you can actually cover this up so you can see this better. So that you can also uh, turn the name on and off. So I'm going to actually turn this off, turn off the time off and the power off as well. So I'm going to get rid of all those. And now they're now off the screen. So you can actually, uh, if you have those on, you can actually go to these selections here, position, and move them around the screen as well if you feel like. All right, just put the lens cap on there so you can look at the menu. So basically just uh, Short press the center button to get the main menu, and uh, you can see here's this Caddx menu. Uh, this looks a lot like what's on the Microsoft. I'm pretty pretty sure it's exactly the same. I'll go into exposure, and those all these options look the same. Dynamic range, that looks the same. Uh, day night, that looks the same. Image adjustment. Yeah, these are all all these options look exactly the same as on the Microsoft. So I'm just going to leave those alone. Okay, so I'm going to do a field of view comparison here. Pointing off into the left here, you can see the bookcase here on the right, and then uh, obviously the 2.3 millimeter lens with a narrower field of view doesn't quite go all the way to the door over here. I believe the 2.1 will do that. And so you just make a mental note of this. This is the uh, the right side goes to the bookcase over here, the left goes to about where this red box is over there, and then on the uh, vertical field of view, it, I can get basically the bottom of the desk here and just getting the light from the ceiling fan right there. So that's the field of view on the 2.3. Okay, so I got my Sonic plugged in. This is the Caddx with the 2.1 millimeter lens, a little bit wider. And I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the desk again and the right side on the bookcase. But you can see that I can go further up past the bottom of the light. So a little bit wider here on the vertical and also wider on the horizontal I'm going past this red box. And you can see the corner of the door over here. So much, much wider field of view. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the field of view on the original Microswift with the 2.1 millimeter lens. So I'm going to line this up bottom of the desk again, right there. Pretty much the same as the Caddx, go past the light there, and then the right side of the bookcase over here and the corner of the door over here. So it's pretty much the same, maybe within uh, one or two degrees difference. Makes sense because you're using the same lens, same sensor. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's exactly the same sensor, but it's probably the same sensor. It's a 600 TV line, CCD sensor, so. Not surprised that the image is the same. The software looks the same as well. So at this point, I'll go ahead and I'll show you some flight footage from the Sonic with the Caddx uh, with the 2.1 millimeter lens. To me, it looks pretty much the same as the Microswift, so not a whole lot of differences. But if you guys notice anything obvious, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions, also let me know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.